All right, finally we have the SH Monsters Godzilla 2004 from Final Wars. You know, this was something I should have gotten sooner actually and I just decided to hold off for whatever reason I figured you know what general release it's not gonna be that hard to get later on in the year when money's a little more easy to come by granted that being said I've been spending my money a little bit more on video games lately in case you haven't noticed and uh, haven't checked out the SES arcade this was one I was really looking forward to and I finally got it. It was a Christmas gift and I couldn't be happier to finally bring this unboxing to you all and eventual review. I do plan on doing both, so don't worry. I need to get back into the groove of things because it's been quite a while since I did an upload and I do apologize for that. I do have a review slash, well, it's less of a review and more of a discussion slash rant video on the 1999 Gamera Monster Arts and why I, uh, well, I don't like that one uh, for reasons we'll get into in that video. It's, it's not the best video I've ever done, granted, but it is there. So, yeah, I want to do an unboxing for the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2004 because it's long overdue. Of course, before we actually unbox him, I completely forgot. I gotta look at the box, right? Yes, the box is pretty much the standard SH Monster Arts claw mark design that they've been going for with for years. You know, they like to change things up here and there depending on the movie, uh, in case of King of the Monsters and the Godzilla vs. Kong line. So we haven't seen this box art in a while. That being, you know, it looks good and everything. I love the darker blues they decided to go with here. It's very fitting for the movie. And, you know, it's got the nice promotional shot of Godzilla here. Here on the side, you get another promotional shot of Godzilla. The other side, just a continuation of the box. And on the back... And on the back, you get some more promotional shots of Godzilla 2004. Who's shaping up to be one of the better SH Monster Arts Godzillas, but we'll see how mine turned out because, you know, it's always a crapshoot with some of these. There's always QC issues here and there. I actually, when I got this, I actually took a nap right after I got this, and I had a nightmare that it was a QC <laughs> fiasco. So let's hope for the best and pray. Now, down here, there's no mention of Yuji Sakai, at least... I mean, what the hell am I talking about? I can't even read Japanese, so maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Who knows? All right, so let's get this bad boy open. I'm tired of waiting. I'm curious to see how bad the eyes are, if they're bad at all. Does he come with any instructions? It looks like... No. <laughs> no instructions. Interesting. Uh, usually there is instructions with these guys, but I guess since he doesn't have any accessories, no instructions. Shame. Alright, without further ado, let's pop open the clamshell package. And see how this Godzilla 2004 turned out. Please don't fall apart on daddy. Please. Okay, first things first. And the eyes. I'm sure the eyes are terrible. <laughs> he kind of looks kind of like, eh? Now, the general consensus was that this one was one of the better ones, uh, articulation-wise, engineering-wise. However, I've already popped off the arm, which is not a good sign. It kind of looks like things need to be turned around a bit here. So I gotta fix that and play with it a little more. But first, I wanna zoom in on the face and see just how bad the mouth, the eyes, the teeth, how, how derpy this guy probably is. All right, so let's see. You know what? Hmm, let me see. Get some light up in there. Holy crap. That is... That doesn't look bad, actually. It looks like he's looking forward, right? 
yeah. You know, promotional shots are one thing, actually getting it in your hand is another. And I gotta say, when you look at him head on, he does not look derpy. He looks like he's looking straight at you, and that's always a plus. Now, the bottom jaw is on that ball joint that we see so often, so things may look a little lopsided and weird, but that's okay. He's in a very... This Godzilla is very expressive, and I'm really, really happy that my eyes look fine. Teeth I can deal with, that's not really that much of an issue to me anymore because it is something you look at once and you don't really notice too often. But, you know, we're going to take a look at it anyways over time. Yeah, this guy's made of... I notice he's popping a lot of joints off a lot easier than some of the other Godzillas, but he's also made of that softer, like, vinyl, that softer plastic material, so... I'm okay with it so far so good I gotta fill around with him some more but I know God Godzilla 2004 here can get in some really sick poses because that's kind of what this Godzilla does he's really expressive and agile and he's able to move around a lot like look at that dude has it going on right on so I do want to do a review on this guy. Hopefully I can have it up sooner rather than later within the first week of January. Don't quote me on that. I'm never good with these deadlines. And um, take a look at his back real quickly. His dorsal fins look pretty solid. And his tail looks nice too. Heard this is one of the better tails so far. So good. All right. So here you have it, the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2004 unboxing from Scorpio Caesar, of course. Everybody else had theirs months ago. I'm just now getting into it, and better late than never, I always say. So from what I can tell, this is pretty solid. Um, yeah, he pops off easily. That's just the design flaw with the, some of the softer material that he was used with. But I'm really liking what I got here. So thanks for watching, everybody. This unboxing is going to wrap up here. Uh, be on the lookout for the review for <laughs> slash discussion, more of a rant video of the 1999 Gamera SH Monster. It's the first version because I don't like that one. So be prepared. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Once again, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, remember all that good stuff, hit the like button, share the video with some of your friends, hit the bell notification icon, and uh, I'll start getting back into the groove of things. I do apologize for being so absent lately these past couple of months. All right, everyone, happy holidays, and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed and would like to see more videos like this, hitting the like button, sharing the video, commenting, and subscribing will help us defeat the evil algorithm. And if you enjoy video games, I have a dedicated channel just for that. So I hope to see you there.